I'm Dr. Donald Henderson. I'm curator of dinosaurs at the Royal Tyrrell Museum. Whenever you name a new species, be it a living species or a fossil species, you have to set aside an example of that species that goes with the new name that you're giving it. We call this the holotype. And sometimes they're extremely rare and valuable because they're, especially with dinosaurs, you only have one kind, one example. And we keep our holotypes in a very safe, secure room here, which we call the type storage room. And we can go and have a look inside this to see what we've got. So here we are in the type room of the Royal Terrell Museum. And in front of me, I have two examples of uh, extremely rare and valuable specimens. So what this one in front is, it's a plesiosaur. It's not a dinosaur. Um, we, it, we call them marine reptiles. Um, this is the head and the front part of the neck of a type of plesiosaur called Nicosora borealis. And it comes from the Fort McMurray area, and it's probably about 114 million years old. Um, you can see this is the skull. It's really nice. It's a bit squished. Um, this is where the eyes would be, the right eye and the left eye. We've got the teeth, some of them showing along here. This was openings on either side of the skull for the giant jaw muscles that would help close the jaw very rapidly and catch fish. Um, this is the original bone. It cleaned up very nicely. Um, we wouldn't put this on display for two reasons. One, because it's um, so valuable, we want to keep it safe in our safest room. But also because the skulls are so important for identifying different types of animals, we want to make it easily available for other researchers when they come here to visit. And we have a steady stream of people that come to visit our collections all year round. And just an example, we don't just do things with backbones and skulls. We also, here at the museum, deal with small things. In here is a fly in amber, and this is, this is the type specimen for this, type, this new type of fly. I won't take it out, but inside there, you can see the little lumps of amber, and inside those lumps of amber, I can see two little black dots, and that's this new fly that became entombed in amber.